Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, so diligently making videos that he even makes videos on his own birthday. So uh, hello everybody and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're uh, at Emporia at the start of this, uh, well, very big area that actually loops around on itself because you can see that over here. Okay, I was telling people something, you will pay for that. Asshole. Thank you. So, what I was saying was that Emporia is a pretty big area, so right now we're at the Grand Central Depot. But as you can see, this entire area just loops around itself, because it eventually loops back around if you want to. Uh, but this is where we are now, at the Grand Central Depot. I'm actually gonna loot these barrels here. I never actually knew that were, there were barrels here. Uh, and now we're gonna go into uh, Hudson's furs and dresses, suits and cloaks. So a clothing store. And yeah, the floor has kind of dropped out because of the uh, the fighting and whatnot. But there's still a, a pretty filled cash registry. Us? Thank you, Elizabeth. And let's go down because there are a few interesting items down below here as well. So let's check that out because I think there's a... Uh, oh, locksmith bag. That was not what I was looking for, but there's a safe you here. So let's this? open no that problem. up. And then we have, there we go, another code book. code book. I wonder where the cipher is. Indeed. So find the Vox code, because now we have another code book available to decipher something with. Let's open up the save. A whole bunch of money again. That's starting to uh, count up pretty nicely. And I thought there was a Voxophone in here, but I might be mistaken. I must be mistaken, because I can't really see anything that I missed here. So let's go back outside and continue our way towards... Well, what's what's next? I think if we keep going, we're gonna end up at the market and maybe the bank of the profit, but I think we need to go all the way around to go inside of the bank. But there, over there, is a very interesting area. Lutes Labs. We might find out a bit more about uh, tears and the like when we go into that area. Okay, let's grab the fireman's equipment. And yeah, things do not look good for Colombia in this new uh, dimension we made, where the Vox Populi is winning. Because yeah, everything is uh, going to shit. So, the market district. But uh, let's check out this area first, because I think, yeah, there's another infusion over there. Hmm. I think you can pick this. Come on, give me something challenging. It's Isn't yours. that challenging? So there we go. Still 11 lockpicks uh, on the up and up. Let's take this one and let's go to uh, Max Salt. Just there we go. So that's fully upgraded. And then let's search the cash, re cash registry. It's empty, but we have a silver bar over here. Another silver eagle bag. And is that it? Might be it. Okay. Booker has a bit of a fat ass because he can't pass through here. Uh, anything else that I'm missing? I don't think so. No. So let's go back outside and continue our way through the market district. There must be a bunch of lovely people in here, right? The market district. Um, is there any... Search corpse. Okay, ooh. Ugh. Something happened to this guy's face, but he is holding a return to sender if he didn't grab it from the uh, salty oyster of whatever it was. Or well, something like that. Um, there's nothing over here. Maybe the barrels. Probably not too much. Aside from the volley gun. Ammo that was in there. And now, market district. Let's keep going. I think I'm going to go with the bazooka for now. Okay. So the fox executing people. And I'm executing them. Patriot, over there. Oh, hello. Hello. I think I'm gonna go for a return to sender. There we go. And let's keep it coming. There we go. Oh god. Let's grab all that and throw it back. There we go. She looked horrible. Did you see her face? 
Holy shit. So that's the power of Return to Sender. You can just stand in front of a, a motorized Patriot and just grab all his bullets and throw them back. Because, yeah, especially against those guys, it's really, really effective. Ooh, he even got some RPG ammo there. There we go. Let's fill that back up. Because the RPG is still a very powerful weapon. More money for us. Well, probably from the people that were executed right in front of us. Thank you all for all that. And I think there's something in this burning building as well. So there we have another one of those people that is freaking out because of the alternate dimension. Because this woman's shop was perfectly fine in the other dimension. But now that we uh, made the Vox Populi win, that changed a bit. Because now she's... Uh, Completely freaking out. Where is Elizabeth? I think there's a lockpick over there. Where? Where are you? There? Is there one over there? If you would move out of the way, maybe I could check that out. No? Oh! There's a lockpick. I can see it. There's a lockpick. Yay! Jump for joy. Wrong button. So that's that. I'm just gonna check out the Vinny Vidi Vigor machine. And see if I can't buy something interesting. Crow's boost, undertow aid. Shock duration aid, charge boost, adds explosive damage. Sand for less, increases shield duration and decreases salt cost for hold. Uh, adds ability to absorb and collect incoming ammunition. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because send, return to sender is amazing. Um, so let's upgrade that once to decrease the salt cost. And then I think I'm going to add the explosive damage to charge because that sounds like awesomeness. So let's go with charge as a backup and I think I'm going to swap out Bucking Bronco with something else every once every while. Because that's a very nice setup to have but I want to want to keep things fresh. So that over there is Lutess Labs. Um, but I don't it's know yet. Yeah. yeah, we can't just open that up just yet because it's barred. It's abandoned. So danger, risk of death or serious injury by order of the Columbia Science Authority. So after something happened to the Latesses that we don't really know much about yet because we heard that they disappeared at some time. But we know they are not gone completely because we've seen them. Um, but yeah, something, something happened there and yeah, nobody really knows what. They just disappeared. Let's see what else we can access because I think yeah, we can access this area with a bit of money so nothing of interest in this area aside from a few look picks so uh that is that i suppose and i think that's pretty much the only hmm, there's a freight hook over there but i don't think you can access anything else from up there so yeah i think that's it so let's keep going because um we need to get the comstock house and that's at the end of the loop here is there something here no okay never mind Never mind, just exploring a bit. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So let's just keep going over there. There we go. And that's just... Uh, I still don't know why I get an electric effect when I do that. I think it's tied to one of my gear items, but... It's weird that I get that effect even though... Because I think that's linked to melee, melee attacks. Melee kills. Wouldn't really call this a melee kill. Just use the volley gun on a on a floating enemy. Got quality. There we go. More lockpicks. Got you there, Elizabeth. Got you there. And then let's swap it back for. Let's go with return to sender. Let's go with return to sender. Um. Okay. So yeah, now we're here. So remember, remember this. So you might remember uh, this song being played at the beach in a bit of a, a more classic fashion. Because if we wait until the building drops down again, we can actually go in here and listen to Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Because girls just wanna have fun. And that just disappears. Because this is the house of... Um, I'm just gonna shut this up. Uh, this is the house of this guy, and this is the brother of Jeremiah Fink. So let's search him. He doesn't have anything on him, but we know that his brother, Jeremiah Fink's brother, so this guy, um, used tears to steal money. No, steal money, not steal money. 
uh, plagiarize music from uh, different timelines using tears. So this will probably talk about that as well. Here's Fink again. My dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. I know not which musician you borrow your notes from, but if he has half the genius of the biologist I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. So the biologists I now observe, so that's talking about again a rift to rapture where he's, uh, I think he's talking in this case about Su Chong. So the man in Rapture that created the Big Daddies. Um, and uh, so Jeremiah Fink's brother is called Albert Fink's and he had his own uh, music shop, Magical Melodies. And yeah, he was kind of killed by the Vox Populi in this universe. So uh, yeah, sorry about that because it's kind of our fault that that happened. So yeah, things are falling apart in Colombia because um, yeah, you can see that the level is completely getting destroyed here because of the buildings staring themselves apart. This is the Memorial Gardens, this is a cemetery. We don't need to access this area just yet because we're going to come back here you in a what? minute. I keep thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. Hmm. There is something about it because we kind of... That... Well, vision? of New York on fire getting attacked by Columbia we had at the beginning of the game uh, kinda sounds like the prophecy of uh, the lamb so she'll drown the mountains of man in fire uh, solving the Irish problem I think we checked that one out I'm just gonna go in and out so yeah it doesn't boost my uh, my uh, number for the uh, sightseer trophy Let me have a look. so uh, not really something we need do I swap something out for the machine gun I think I'm gonna swap out the bazooka for the machine gun for now because we haven't been using that lately um, anything else besides the save I don't think so so let's take the money oh, something else no thought I had another prompt there but nothing nothing at all uh, there's another lockpick over here and a silver eagle bag but uh, yeah we're starting to get a little bit dry on voxophones there's not that many in this area uh, well, not the side areas over here. We're gonna see a few of them later on. But not right now. That's closed off. And then over there is where we need to go. So that's Comstock House. We seem to be almost there. So let's go over here and see what we can do. Comstock Victory Square. So another big uh, statue of Comstock himself. It's kind of getting... Uh, it's kind of hanging over a bit. But... Uh, Let's go over here. On that gate lies Comstock House. There we go. And this is a bit of a memorial to uh, Lady Comstock. Because uh, it's a statue of her with a lot of flowers around and another voxophone. This is for the miracle child. Hello. I'm sorry your mother, Lady Comstock, is dead. I think she is altogether better than mine. Since you live there, can you tell me why the tower has been closed? People say it's poor weather, then the pox, then a haunting. If it is a secret, I promise not to tell a soul. Your pen friend, Constance. So we had a voxophone from Constance at the very beginning, before we got at the, at the raffle. Um, and she was a big fan of Elizabeth. And probably still is, because I make it sound like she's dead, but I don't think she's dead. Let's try and open this up. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. But of course, if she puts your hand on... Your friends do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. No, it can. isn't. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Let's head to where she's buried. That is a lovely sentiment, Elizabeth. Let's head to where she's buried, but I don't like what you're planning here. Um, there is an entire... So we can complete the loop if we continue over there, but uh, the quest is kind of structured the way that we're gonna be going to most of these areas anyway so i don't think because this is all locked yeah i'm just gonna go back 
and let's head towards the uh, memorial gardens and uh, head into the cemetery. There's the graveyard where my mother's buried. So there we go, the graveyard where my mother is buried. Um, this is gonna get a little bit gruesome, so just be warned. But um, it's also a very interesting scene. So nonetheless, here we go. So uh, a big, big you crypt. Go? Come on. What are we looking for? Because most of the people of Colombia think they're very, very important, of course. Um, I think I'm good with the folly gun for now. Might use the shotgun later on. There it is. Our Lady Memorial. We kind of saw that already in one of the uh, kinetoscopes. When uh, we knew, when we first learned about the Lady Comstock's death. Uh, and there's a lot of, yeah, sky soldiers, sky police over here. Just murdered. There's a hand cannon here. I think I'm just gonna try and get make do with the machine gun. Because we still need a lot of kills with this thing. Um, if we want to have the trophy for it. I'm just going to take a look around. Because most of these areas are closed off. But over here there's another corpse. All empty. Founder lies. So again, very gruesome scenes. This is a, a, a burning corpse being hung. So yeah. That is, that is not so nice. Everybody here is empty apparently. Not, I thought it was a bit of loot. But never mind. Let's drop down. And head towards the memorial site itself. There's a a grave for a hoarder and a... Ooh, this is even more interesting. Because these are the empty graves of the Lutesses. So both Lutesses have an empty grave here. Interesting. Uh, right next to this uh, poor hoarder of a man. Let's go... I think we can go in there as well. Before we head into... Whatever we need over there. There's music playing on the other side. And there's medical kits here. Might actually open that up. Do it. There we go. So we have that as a backup when uh, whenever shit hits the fan. I think that's pretty much it. So let's go inside of the First Lady Memorial. We can hear the memorial music already. So, uh, yeah. There's a, um, a look we can magically make appear on this gate. So Elizabeth go can ahead. open it up. Done. There we go. And, uh, yeah, open it up. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. The mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door, or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth is starting to become a cold-hearted biatch. Okay. Let's open the gate. And let's chop off uh, the hand of Elizabeth's probably not mother. It's her. How are you, mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. So, um, let's go uh, over here and let's open the coffin. Oh, shit. If you've been paying attention, you might recognize these apparatuses. You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. So this is similar to the siphon in the tower. What lions does not cringe to see their cup and pain, but spare the rod, spoil the child. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. And there we have Lady Comstock. In ghost form. I'm, I Elizabeth, are you alright? No, where, where did she Just go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. So, what happened here was... You can see these these things along the wall. It's a siphon that, well, drains Elizabeth of her power. That's why she couldn't use her power when she, well, not as much as she did now in the uh, the tower because she was constantly being siphoned. Um, and here, Comstock used the siphon to, well, use that energy on Lady Comstock, bringing her back to life. Kind of opening a tear to a dimension where she is alive and then the effect of both being alive and dead kind of had well that this powerful ghost effect on her 
And now we need to go find a ghost. So let's open the gate. And um, see what Lady Comstock is capable of doing. Because this is a very, very tough fight. So she can resurrect soldiers. So I'm gonna gonna grab some bullets here and throw them back at her. We can kill these guys, but they're gonna come back anyway, so. And that's why I wanted to know where the med kits are. Because this is a freaking tough fight. Elizabeth. Let's use the volley gun. And try to, uh, if she's gonna keep resurrecting things. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for Bucking Broker. Yeah, let's do that. And then, let's do that, because we get an extra shield from that. Much obliged. Boop. Oh shit. Damn it, me what why didn't he want to fire the attack? That was ridiculous. Since when do I need to hold that to just do it? I'm just gonna go for uh mm, Devil's Kiss. Jesus Christ, I'm all already out of health now. Just go with return to sender. Oh, let's just fire this up. Die already. There we go. What is she? What am I? I am completely out of ammo. She's the source of my power. But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. So uh, there we have the Lutesses again, confirming my theory about the people that we change dimensions and time frames to being both alive and dead. And that's what happened. What's happening to Lady Comstock? And yeah, she does really like that state. If we turn around, and I think if we turn around again, they're gone again. Of course, there we go. So goodbye, Latessas, and thank you for that little uh, little tip. So now we have the footsteps of Lady Comstock to follow. Uh, and I think we're going to need a few new weapons, because I'm completely out of those. So there we go. We kind of used both Charge and um, Return to Sandler to stay alive there. Because, yeah, that's, that's one of the tougher fights of the game. I think this is pretty much, in my opinion, the hardest fight, because you kind of are stuck in that little area before you can even get out. Um, and that just makes everything really, really annoying. Can I open this up? How the hell do I open this up? I don't know. Huh. That is weird. Um, let me gather a few supplies here and I'll uh, get back to you when we uh, start following more of the footsteps. So there we go, that's pretty much it. Let's head outside the cemetery and see where it's we can go. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. So there we go, we need to find three truths. 
which means we need There's to find. Yeah, off I'm just gonna let them Lady talk Comstock. first. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She, she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just, I'm not so sure it was her. I'm not so sure it was her. So we need to find three truths, which means that we need to find three. And there we have more footsteps. Three secrets that Comstock himself has buried about his past. Um, so that means we're gonna get uh, a really, really interesting information here about uh, a few of the things that Comstock doesn't want anybody to know. So there's a few ways we can go, but uh, I think we're gonna go first in this direction back to Letess Labs, because that's one of the areas where we need to find one of the truths that we need to find out. So let's keep going, and I'll see you guys back at the Letess Labs. So there we go, the test labs is now guarded by a bunch of Vox Populi dudes. So let's just get in there, throw a few crows around, and start uh, headshotting a few people. Okay. There we go. Man, I'm getting weak. Can't take a few shots without almost dying this time. And my my shield is fully upgraded. Did they change the difficulty somewhat in this uh, Bioshock collection? They might have. Just don't really get what changed. But yeah, let's head into Letess Labs, which is now open to us. Well, almost open to us. We just need to uh, Fancy lock those pick lock skills to the work. lock. Because there we have more footsteps leading Done. inside of the building. Okay, here we go. And I think I'm just gonna go for Bucking Bronco for now, because that seems to be the uh, safer option. Uh, more assaults for us, which is always appreciated. Another lockpick. And let's uh, enter the labs proper, because uh, this is where things start to get more interesting. Because of course the Latessas in their own uh, labs had a few experiments over here. And the first tear we need to open is right over here. So let's... There's something in there. Should I open it? Yes, you should. Because we're gonna find something. I think we need to angle ourselves here. Yeah, open up the there. You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. And Madame Lutess. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. That's a lie. Come here, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! So there we go. But, then what were you to them? A child that they decided to imprison. So there she we go. Whatever Comstock did to her. First revelation. We knew. We probably what knew did you that. Name uh, for when okay. You said Lady Comstock didn't belong here. She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of um. Your I anger. So, a reflection of your anger, maybe. So, first revelation, Comstock himself is also sterile. Here. We also already realized that probably Lady Comstock wasn't Elizabeth's mother, because of, yeah, the fact that she would only have been pregnant for a week, that nobody noticed that. But Comstock himself was also sterile, so they couldn't have been Elizabeth's parents. Furthermore, Lady Comstock's first uh, idea about where Elizabeth came from was actually that Letess was responsible somehow. So that's why she came here in a fury demanding uh, that Letess started caring for Elizabeth. But let's pick up the voxophone and listen to Letess herself. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption but I think she found that less believable than her delusion. The child was a pro product of our little contraption, and this is kind of their little contraption over here. What it does, I'm not gonna tell you just yet, but let's just say it's a very interesting machine. Let's look around here, because I think there's another voxophone over here, and another one of Letess, so let's listen. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. 
Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. So because of your of the, the machine here, Comstock became sterile because he wasn't before. So, um, and the machine, they're also talking, Lutez also was talking about the fact that multiple realities have an effect on people, the, the traits of people, that they start to disappear the more realities they start to do experiment with using the machine. So the machine has a direct link to the tears we've been seeing along Colombia. Um, Mm, just checking out if there is anything else here. There's a is that a wallet? Yeah, that's a wallet and a purse. Sorry, Latest, I'm stealing all your money. But let's just take another look around. Yeah, it was even in the bedroom. I mean, these people were really, really dedicated. Let's pick up the infusion and boost our health. Because that's already. the only option we have. An empty cabinet, and that's pretty much it. So let's head back downstairs and head towards the next memory the next secret we're gonna uncover because this one was a very interesting one to start with so let's get back outside i don't think yeah we now get new footsteps and they go back uh to where we came from so back to uh the square we started out at well we can also go over there maybe i'm gonna do the loop in that direction but before we go any further, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to uncover the last two secrets that we need to uh, free Lady Comstock. So uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.